today we're going to be working on the smallest room in my house. This is the teeny tiny hallway that is the entryway to the bathroom. And it is basically three doors. Uh, one bedroom on the left, another bedroom on the right, and the bathroom in the middle. And then it's got bookshelves and attic access. And it's got hideous 1970s paneling, which once upon a time might have been white or off-white, but is now a weird green color. Um, most of the other rooms in the house were this as well, and I painted them and they came out great. So I think we're gonna do the same in here. Uh, this was never meant to be seen by guests, so the baseboard was never finished, kind of like most closets would be. Um, it's got a light switch and a light. Uh, we're going to change that light bulb and see if that makes a difference in the coloring. I can't put a lampshade on that because the attic door comes down so close, it almost hits the light bulb. <laughs> so this is what we are working with. Now I already painted the doors white and the baseboard white and those white. They were all a cream off kind of harvesty gold ivory color from the 70s that had faded to a horrible color. Um, so a couple months ago I painted the doors and it made quite a difference um, being that most of the walls here are doors. So. Um, I contemplated wallpapering this and I might still do that, but for right now, I'm just going to primer this and then paint it a very soft blue gray called Cosmic Dust from Kelly Moore. This doorway is not original. It was put in um, to give access to the bathroom from the living room so you wouldn't have to walk through either of the bedrooms. Now I did just change the light bulb in here from an energy saving incandescent one to an LED one. And it's definitely much brighter and lighter. I don't think it really affected the coloring of the walls because they're still weird yellow green. And in fact, that trim up there is like a sagey yellow green color. <laughs> so, I left some pictures on the wall. There were already nails here, so I just hung them so that we can compare the real color um, once it changes. We do have lovely old doors in here. Some more old photos of my grandparents. And I did one of these doorknobs where I stripped the paint off and they are like a brass, plated with some copper color. Um, it's not perfect. And it took a while to clean and get off and everything. So I might end up doing all of the doorknobs, but I am not sure yet if I like it or if I prefer the painted. Um, they were already painted when I got here, but they were a weird ivory yellow color. So I painted them white and uh, I have a lot of doors, a lot of doors. So in order to paint old 1970s or 60s or 80s paneling, uh, you need to look at the condition of the paneling. Uh, if it has a really shiny, glossy finish, you're gonna have to sand it. This is from the 70s and no longer has that or never had it to begin with. And then you have these grooves to contend with. And if you're roller painting, um, that won't work because it won't get into there unless you press really hard or use the corners. So I recommend taking a normal paintbrush. And when you're doing your primer, to you just go back and forth like that. And if you have a large area, you can leave it like that and not worry about the middle. But if you have a small area, you might as well go ahead and do a coat like that. And then you are probably going to need two coats of primer you can roller on your second primer and then do your main color 
um, and it should stick and should cover. I have done these several times and they do stick. They don't peel off as long as you're using primer um, and they stay for years. So don't be afraid to paint paneling. So far I have done one coat of primer on the walls. And three coats of primer on the trim up there. And then two coats on that attic door, which was really uh, still bleeding through and is still, could use another coat. Um, I don't know if I have the patience for that right now. But overall, um, much, much brighter in here. I'm very happy. Um, and I did change the light bulb and that helps a little as well. More of a blue, clean white light. So I am going for the color Cosmic Dust by Kelly Moore, which is a very pale light gray. So light, in fact, that you're like, um, is that white? <laughs> no, it is a gray um, and it will dry slightly darker, but it is very, very close to white. Um, I started over here um, doing some, so you can see that's primer and this is me filling in the lines. So I will keep at it. Here is the paint after it has dried. Uh, this is one coat of Cosmic Dust, which is a very pale gray, sort of a blue gray. Overall, I am super happy with it. Um, it really brightened up the room. And although it looks almost white, if you see this is white, this is cosmic dust, which is like a gray. So this used to be uh, a very dingy room and now it is super bright and airy. This room came out totally awesome. I cannot believe I waited so long to do this one. It connects to so many rooms and the lighting is just so refreshing and I like the color. So as always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe.